Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another get ready with me. If I like this type of format of video, it just takes me less time to prepare, less time to get ready. And I like, you know, being in this environment, it just feels a lot more chill to me, you know? Chill. Even though I've got like 500 lights, like a surrounding me, it's chill. So last week I went on a bit of a spending spree, I mean, when do I not? And I bought a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that I've been wanting to try for a long time now. So we're going to try this out, it's going to be somewhat of a haul and a try at the same time. I will mention if otherwise that most of the products that I'm using here, I've literally bought in the last like week. So we're going to haul it, we're going to try it on, we're just going to go for it. Straight in, no kissing. Pow, pow, pow. So the first thing I want to do is prime my skin. I'm using this MAC Skin Base Visage. I used this in my last Get Ready With Me. The reason that I've chosen to use this instead of all my other primers is because I've been using this in the past week and I've been absolutely loving the way my makeup looks and I've kind of memorized how my skin looks in, you know, my head. And I'm using a new foundation today and I'm figuring if I'm going to use this primer and I know that this is a good primer, if I put the foundation on and it like doesn't look as great, I know it's because the foundation sucks and it's not because the primer sucks. X much the spot, bitches. For foundation, I'm going in with a new product. I wanted to use this foundation for as long as I can remember. I honestly remember being on YouTube and having everybody talk about this foundation, just being like, oh my god, I really want to try that. But then according to reviews, I was also told that it was like a more full coverage foundation. And at that time, I wasn't ready to like get into that full coverage realm yet. But right now, I'm ready. I'm ready. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I'm in the shade Deep 76 Warm. It's quite a good shade according to what I remember from when I was matched in Debenhams the other day. Some people love the fact that it's so full coverage and others don't so i know that it's super full coverage so i've actually put two pumps on my little palette and i'm gonna see how that goes on my face i think i'll probably need three because in a lot of foundations i use three pumps but if this is as full coverage as people make it seem then i think two may not be enough oh my god it's so orange not the best match okay okay it's not about the color it's about the formula okay we're gonna make this work so that's literally half of the two pumps that i put on to be honest it just it, it looks like a lot on the monitor but it's actually calmed down a little bit as i've just kind of blended it out this is still very orange look up get orange you look i haven't even got through half of what i've got on my palette and almost covered all of my face so that's good so far so once you blend it out it definitely does calm down it is a lot more orange than i anticipated but just off this first way though i really 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 do like it it looks matte but there's still like a little bit of like a like a glow going on just like a tiny tiny bit and it literally has covered everything so that was two pumps and i don't think i'm gonna need any more i actually think two pumps did a good job okay i'm just setting my face with my rcma no color powder for concealer i'm using none other than the tarte shape tape i cannot believe mm, i can believe because everybody was talking about this concealer guys the hype is real this stuff is amazing it's what dreams are made of so to actually set my face i'm using a new powder today this is another kat von d product this is the look it brightening powder i've got the shade golden it's a powder with a yellow undertone i know that lyric from the kat von d shade and light palette is a really really popular shade i actually went in to get the shade and light palette but then i figured i'd really only get use out of two of the powders which would be lyric and then the darkest contour shade so i figured let me just grab the brightening powder and then i could just use one of my other contours to just contour my face this is my first time using this i know that casey holmes really 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 does love this powder um i haven't heard too much people speak about it i know that like when her whole like lock it line like relaunched at like, the spray the powder there were a lot of people reviewing it i know a lot of people didn't really love the powder a lot of people love the spray some people love the foundation some didn't but i don't know if this is a newer addition to the line i think this is one of the things that was added like last lastly last so far so good i'm really enjoying it it's quite yellow i haven't used a powder that this yellow since like my ben nine days 2014 was a good year unlike a lot of the other powders i own you do have to kind of work at this a little bit more to blend it in and there is like a lot of like fallout which is really weird i think because it's a loose powder and although i do use loose powders to do my face i usually use um pressed powders when i'm actually setting my face because then i can just kind of really get in with the brush looking on the monitor it does it looks so ashy gonna go in and contour right now and then i'm going to blush and highlight we're gonna use some blush now i'm going to use this colourpop the knockout palette it's still got the package on it it's not that new i've used the highlighter and i've used the blush i just have yet to get as much use out of this palette as i would like but i'm going to use this blush today every time i've been using the blush i haven't really been paying attention to it and i've noticed as of recent that there's not actually much color payoff although on the brush it does look quite like i think on the face it doesn't really come out as bright but it looks like i've put a lot on so i could be lying i lied 
So we're gonna highlight our face now. I'm gonna use this Becca Glow On The Go Shimmer Skin Perfector. This is actually like a liquid version of Opal the highlight and then Opal the actual powder highlight. This is by no means a new product, it's new to me. And I thought that this was a Sephora exclusive, but I saw it on Court Beauty and then I also saw it on QVC the other day. So I figured I'd try it because I've wanted to get Opal for the longest time, but I don't know, every time I see swatches of it or anyone do like a video with it on YouTube, I just think I definitely have something like this. So I figured, let me just get a small travel size version to finally just once and for all just decide, do I need the full version? So I got it and it comes with these two just here. I'm not a fan of liquid highlighters, but I am gonna try to use just a little bit as a base. I know that this probably is gonna go wrong, so <sighs> good luck. Ah, it just made like an oil slick. Hmm, nice. I don't really get what the purpose of that product is. Maybe it's for someone who's like a tad bit lighter, but this didn't really do anything for me. Like, just looks like a wet streak in my face. But let's go with Opal. I mean, that's really what we're here for. I'm kind of like, mm, what? really? This is tiny. To be fair, the set together was £17, so overall it's quite good value for money. It's okay. It just, it doesn't look as like bronze and like, I'm lying, I've tried this. Let me stop faking, I have tried it the other day. But I wanna try it again on camera because I was in a rush and I didn't really get to look at it properly. I was at work the whole day, so it wasn't like, you know, I was staring at my face the whole day. Okay, maybe that little liquid thing did do something because it kind of just made it stick to it. It's funny, I literally put the tiniest bit on here and it's giving me all of this. I don't know, I'm really gonna have to blend it out because it is looking a little bit just like, so my first impression of that highlight, I did spend quite a bit of time kind of blending it out. I had to swap from the fan brush to the Morphe R36 to kind of blend it out. I'm not in love with the, I mean, it looks really nice on my face, I'm not going to lie, but on the camera it's looking like a yellow gold, which I hate yellow gold. But in the flesh it is looking like a really, really nice highlight. I think the foundation is just quite dry, and that's probably why it's looking like that. But once the look is done, I'm just going to give like my face like a generous spritzing of just setting spray to kind of melt it all in. And hopefully we'll be able to get a better idea of what that looks like once we've set it and sprayed it. So for eyes, we are actually using a palette by Colourpop. This is the Loki palette. It's one of the first eyeshadow palettes that they released, you know, with their press eyeshadow collection. The Loki palette is right up my street. Oranges, neutrals, hello. I've actually only used these shades once and I got so many compliments at work that day. And I just was like, oh, okay. It was my first time using it and people really, really seem to like it. Whilst I have used the Colourpop shadows, I don't really have an idea of this palette and whether the colours actually work in sync together. So that's why we're gonna use this today. So I've been using this shade here, which I believe is called IOU. This has to be one of the most stunning orange shades ever. I know I rave and rave and rave and rave about warm brown orange shades, but this shade is truly stunning, like just mmm. So we're actually going to use this in our Outer V. This shade is called Crisscross. This shade right here is called Running Late. I'm going to use this to kind of carve out the lid a little bit. I like working with mattes. I think at the end of the day, when you work with mattes, you get a really good idea of what their kind of formula is. Like, look at that pigmentation. The metallic shade just here is called IOU. I'm gonna pop this on my lid, just so we can have all four shades on the eye and just to say we did it. So I've pretty much gone ahead and put my lashes on, done my brows, set them because I don't have any new brow products or eyelashes because I'm a creature of habit, especially when it comes to brow products and eyelashes. I just don't like to spend money to like get acquainted with new products because I just know I'm not going to like them, so I just stick to what I know. Having a monitor is such a godsend. You can really see when you're looking crazy up in these YouTube streets. We made that a thing, hashtag YouTube streets. Is the Smashbox Primer or water? With a little pixie glow mist. I think it's fair to say that this is a good face, you know? I'm not disappointed, you know? The Becca highlight, chill. The Becca highlight is just gleaming, like, oh, maybe it really just needed a bit of like, mm, to, mm, bitch. <laughs> Come at me, bitch. So I've gone ahead and just gone in with a brown liner and just a lip pencil from Kiko to just line my lips. Now, the lip glosses that I'm going to use, no lie, Jaclyn Hill put me on. I don't think there's anyone on YouTube that Jaclyn Hill did not put onto these products. These are the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Buttercream Lip Gloss. I feel like all my last few videos I've referred to her Sephora haul in some way. I don't know why, but why? <laughs> 
In her Sephora haul, she mentioned these glosses and she said that they were such an incredible formula. She put me onto the Marc Jacobs glosses, so I'm like, okay, well, if she likes this formula, then I'm bound to like it as well. The Marc Jacobs formula is so creamy, it's so buttery, it literally is not sticky at all. It is my favorite lip gloss of all time, but I decided I need to change up and I needed to try something new because I can't be using that in every done video now, unless you guys want me to. So I'm gonna try out these glosses. I've got two shades. I've got Sugar and Tantalize. Sugar is like a bubblegum pink and then Tantalize is like a darker pink. It's like a more nude, so you can see the difference. I'm gonna go in first with Sugar and in case it's a bit too light, I'm gonna use Tantalize to darken it up. Not really in love with the applicator. It's a bit hard to apply, like it's slightly bent. It looks so much like my Marc Jacobs gloss. It has a scent, which I don't really like. Originally, I was going to put Tantalize to mix it. Let's just put Tantalize to mix it just to see when you layer these lip glosses, like if they get like gloopy and nasty and stuff. Hate the applicator, but it is giving me a lot of shine, which I really am enjoying. Enjoying that shine. I do like it. It's funny because I actually bought Sugar along with Fly. Fly, which is like a really nude. And I just thought, mm, skirt. that's not for my skin tone. I need to cheer. I need to remember my melanin. And I went ahead and got tantalized instead because it's a pinky nudie brown gloss. And I'm really happy that I went ahead and switched it. Well, okay then, bitch. We ready. Let me just get my hair curled and then we are ready to go. Ready for the outro in three, two, aba. We're ready to go. Let me just give you guys a quick rundown of all the products that I tried. From the Locket Foundation, I really, really do enjoy it. I'm just looking at my mirror my monitor right now and I think the tone has kind of calmed down I think once you kind of powder and highlight it it does calm down it definitely looked a bit crazy in the beginning and I was worried but I really do like this this might be a bit premature but I think that this might be a staple in my makeup collection I really have enjoyed this foundation for the duration of this get ready with me tutorial oh I love these glosses I've got them on now they've kind of wore down a bit but I'm gonna top them up in just a second because I'm gonna go ahead and film a video I'm really liking this powder I have to say it does look a little bit crazy at first I do my makeup with my beauty light behind me but I don't do it with all these lights so it was looking a bit stuck but I really do like the way it looks you know minimal creasing it does look very pretty very flawless on camera I love the shade of this I love like a good like neutral just yellow powder I'm not a fan of like white powders for setting my under eyes because I'm of a darker complexion and um, we will know how that goes pleasantly surprised by this bad boy here because this just steered me wrong and just did nothing but this I really do like once it's definitely melted down it does look really nice I still don't know if I'm going to go ahead and buy the full size highlight because I do have a lot of highlights that are this shade and if I'm gonna buy it like it's like £35 for the highlight I just can't justify it when I've got so many that look like it but hey you never know I'm going to continue to trial it this month and see if I really really love it and if I do then I will go ahead and actually buy the full size one finally I feel like Becca Opal is such a cult product. I love just having those cult products that everybody on YouTube loves. I don't know what it is. It's like the copycat, like peer pressure teen in me. In love with this palette. So glad I gave this a second chance. The thing is, when you buy so much makeup, it, you kind of just kind of shove some stuff to the side, and whatever you love and immediately want to try, you use every day. But like things like this, I definitely just push to the side when I should have just kind of used it because I'm in love with this. Come on, hello. I think that's all that we used that was new. I think we used like overall new products, but a lot of the stuff was like other stuff that I just mixed in. If there's anything that I've missed that I mentioned that was new and you want to know how I liked it, leave me a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for all the support on my videos. I'm really happy with the content I'm producing at the moment. I'm just really happy, you know, with the state of my channel and I really hope that you guys like what I'm doing at the moment. Let me know how you feel about it. You know, I'm really excited to hear all you guys' feedback. If you are new to my channel and this is your first time watching this video, if you made it all the way to the end here, what you waiting for? Subscribe! <laughs> thank you guys again so much for watching i've been vanika and you guys have been amazing thank you for watching see you in my next video bye Toodles. sort of looks just like you You lot do not want me to get angry black woman right now, like. Fuck with me. Dirty. When my uncle saw the dirty video, he banned us from ever watching it. Like, if it ever came on TV, he was like, change. Change. Why are you so obsessed with me? I don't know you are. I don't know her. Drive me, I deserve it. No time to have you to
There's something about this song that makes me act a damn fool. Let me hear your flow, sister. Oh, 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 oh.